Hi, I'm Karen McClendon from the Alberta Shetland Sheepdog and Collie Association. I'm here to show you how to groom your Sheltie for the show ring. Maybe you're new to Shelties and you'd like to give it a try, but find the grooming a little intimidating. Maybe you've been doing this for years, but you're not getting the results you're after. Maybe you have a pet or a performance dog and you'd like it to look like the dogs in the group ring. I'm going to break it down into some simple steps and tricks that work for me. Just follow along with these dog So these are the steps I go through before I bath the dog. This is Claire, she's probably been about eight weeks without a bath, so she's good and grubby. First thing I do is I cut and dremel the nails. It's important to keep the nails short so you can get a nice, pretty foot when you go to trim it. Love their nails, make them. Just go slow. Good girl. Tell them they're good. Good girl. And then I take the Dremel tool and I file them as short as I can. to the bath, here's a quick rundown of the products that I'll be using. For the bath, we use the slicker brush and a bit of cornstarch, if need be. For the bathing itself, I like to use Melanie Newman dog shampoo. I mix it about 10 parts to one in a good sized mixing bottle. I like to add a large dollop of Quicksilver bluing shampoo when I'm going to a dog show. I find this whitens and brightens and it's safe for all colors. After the bath, I use Melanie Newman conditioner. This is the best conditioner I've tried. After bathing, I like an anti-static spray. I use Crown Royal Magic Touch, about a teaspoon in a good size spray bottle. For drying, I like a bristle brush. I find that helps get the top line the flattest. This is a Mason Pearson bristle and nylon brush. A good quality pin brush is a must. This is a Chris Christensen. A nice wide tooth comb. And then again, the Andis Coat Rake. As important as good quality products are, and they are, 
Nothing is more important than maintaining your dog's coat between shows. Regular bathing, conditioning, and proper drying promotes growth, reduces breakage and bleaching, and helps turn over that undercoat so a healthy new coat can come in. I bathe my dogs about every four to six weeks. There is no magic product, unfortunately, that will replace good hard work. So this is the mixture. I'm gonna dampen the coat. I like the water to be body temperature for the dog. So it feels not warm, not cool to your touch. So that it's comfortable for both of us. Make sure your shampoo is well mixed. And then we're just gonna start working it into the coat. Make sure you scrub deep down to the skin. I actually enjoy it. Okay, now that she's good and scrubbed all over her body and neck, I'm gonna do the head. And I can't emphasize enough how important the head is. You're never gonna get a pretty head trim or ear trim unless those ears are sparkly clean and every hair is separate. So I'm just putting shampoo on her ears, and on her face, it's a lot to get it in her eyes. But scrub the whole face. Really get in there. On the ears themselves, because they're always the dirtiest part, I like to use a bit of shampoo straight. And work it in, really get in there. They're all around the edge of the ear, the tips of the ear. This, if nothing else, will make your dog look better in the showroom. the ears. Clean, clean, clean. We're going to rinse her really well. I start with the head this time so it doesn't leave soap on her head for too long. Now when rinsing the ears, rinse from above and the ears will naturally block this water from going in the ear canal. This comes from above. Girl. Rinse it really well. When you're rinsing under the ear, I just like to block the ear canal with my fingers and then go ahead and rinse. Okay, now that she's all rinsed and squeaky clean, I'm going to give her a little conditioning. Now, for everyday bathing, I always condition my dogs. We live in a dry climate in Calgary, Alberta, and a conditioner really helps at keeping their coats healthy and stops breakage. Now, for the dog show, I only use a little bit. What I do is I just about one squirt, and I'm just gonna put it down our top line. And this is gonna help flatten and straighten that hair so our top line lies smooth and flat. And just give it a quick rinse. Now that we have her good and clean and good and wet, we're going to dry her. It is so important to have a good quality, high velocity dryer. The direction in which you dry the dog is incredibly important. I'm going to show you that. You can get the hair on the back to lie flat, the hair on the legs to stand up, shake your dog all with using a blaster and not having to use any product.
blasted out most of the water and our coat feels pretty much dry. I'm gonna go over it with a hand dryer and just get everything dry, dry, dry. This is when you're gonna flatten that top line. I'm using a bristle brush and a warm, not hot hair dryer. your dogs to lie down for line brushing. Not only is it more comfortable for them, when they get older and it's hard for them to be groomed and to stand, this makes grooming so much easier for them. If for no other reason, teach them to lie down for when they get older. I'm gonna use the actual stand dryer for this because I have access to one. If you don't, the hand dryer still works just fine. And I'm gonna line brush the coat and make sure everything is dry clear through to the root. Make sure there's no spots with this. A nice light conditioner spray works well with this one too, just to control this bed. You can see how the back now lies nice and flat, the hair on the legs is brushed up, and the comb runs through. Ready for trimming. Good girl, Claire. The worst part is over. 